Hello again, it's Elizabeth and I'm here at my art loft and I wanted to show you what I've been working on now. It's uh, something I'm going to call broken pottery or buried pottery or something like that. Um, a long time ago, I made a series of relief prints and I cut this uh, blue rubber stuff with um, the uh, normal little uh, linoleum type cutters and I made this elaborate uh, set of flowers on the ends of vines and elaborate vines and I did it as a reduction print which meant that after I finished I couldn't redo it because all of the pieces had been taken out but I do have the nice outline and I've made um, uh, cast paper with it and done some other printing with it and uh, I like this design so I think it looks like a kind of a like a china pattern that you might have on old uh, pottery old china so I've been trying working with it on my jelly plate trying to make well gel plate sorry it's a gel plate not a jelly plate um, to try to make it kind of a, a you know with gold or copper in this case it's a little bit that's a copper in there and then when I put it when I pulled it I pulled it with black because I had some butterflies in black as you'll see on the next prints and I pulled it on the one that had already had some stuff pulled on it because I knew I had too much black on there but if I took any black off then it was trying to lift the uh, print from the plate before I was ready for it so this came off and then after this came off, I pulled this, and this is pulled on a, another print that was already printed. You can see the print right here, but then this was the print with the black, black butterfly showing through and a little bit of black there. And then after I had taken that off, there was still a little bit of the butterflies left on the plate, so I used my Extreme Sheen Gold to pick up the rest of that and you can see I don't know if you can see or not I think you can see that there's a little bit a little shade of the blue in there plus you do have a few places where it still has the uh, spidery lines of the print of the uh, rubber stuff from the original through the you know the copper stuff uh, uh, that went through the blue so I'm going to try working and do this again, this same type thing. Then I did it again. I did do it again. And this time it was pretty successful, except again it started to peel up. So I did get this place that's just kind of a garbage black. But the rest of the print I think looks pretty good. It was what I wanted it to look like. I only stamped once with the blue rubber stuff in this area and this area and they do overlap in the middle and that's why I put the butterflies there to disguise them so that's what I'm going to try to work on again I'm going to start with the blue that I started with which is the Ceram Coat Laguna Blue and it's a nice uh, turquoisey blue it's a little little bit green not uh, too blue it's got a little green in it and what I want is a very thin even layer on there so I can pick it pick up the um, where the, the blue rubber hits it, I can pick up that uh, line work so that it will show when I put the copper on and it will show through in that area. So I'm just trying to get a nice even roll out of this. And just try to get it even, even on the edges, although sometimes that's difficult. And that looks pretty good, so I'm just going to roll this off over here on the other stuff that I have and now I take my and, I, and you can see I've already got ink on there and uh, paint on there and it doesn't really matter but I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay it halfway down or to the halfway mark and it does have a border around it but I don't want the border on my print so I make sure that in the in the middle of it I had a little bit of paint still on my roller so I've got a little bit on the back of this but it will all wash off so I'm not worried about that but I want to make it nice contact so it will give me a nice clear print. And there we have a nice clear print. Now I'm going to do the other side here and it will overlap slightly in the middle because otherwise I'd probably have a gap in the middle if I didn't overlap it slightly in the middle. But again, I'm just rolling it to make sure it has good contact and hopefully won't jiggle as I pick it up and make a double print. 
a double. And I do have a little spot where it's kind of empty in the middle, but that's all right. I mean, it's not, see right here? That's not enough to worry about, but it looks pretty good. So that's already dried on here, so I don't have to worry about that. What I have to worry about is to dry my plate so that I'll be ready to um, put my, my gold on. And I'm using Sorry, I had to move some stuff around so that I wouldn't have anything in the way. I'm going to give it a little bit of fan here. But for the next color, I am using a, um, what is it called? Which one? Uh-oh, where did I lose it? Oh, here it is. Nope, that's not it. I'm going to use one that's called, it's another Delta Ceram Coat one, and it's called... Come on, let me find it. It was an ancient gold or something like that. <sighs> but since I don't have it, I think... No, actually, I used the Extreme Sheen. Well, the last time I used the Extreme Sheen. I'll go ahead and use that this time because it'll work. It's a good... It's a nice... Uh, dries pretty fast stuff, too. Okay, it looks like most of it's dry, so we're going to go ahead and put some of that on there. And I'm going to start it right there in the middle where it's, I should have probably shaken that a little bit, but we'll just pretend it's going to work. And just roll that out slowly so that my, my brayer doesn't touch before my paint touches it. I don't want uh, my brayer to actually touch the paint that's down there because sometimes it will lift if I don't have a, a cushion of uh, new paint in between it. And this is looking really good here. And I need a little bit of pushing around in the middle so that it will stay there. Where you first put your paint onto the plate, uh, sometimes it has a tendency to be more liquid there, and so your paint kind of comes up from there easier. Okay, I'm going to roll off this extra over here. And I'm going to actually pick a little bit more up of that because I want it to dry pretty fast so I want a very very thin layer of it and I think that looks pretty good we can look at it from the other side let me just flip that over for you to look at you can see that it's got Pretty good gold in there. Looks goldy to me. I like that. Perhaps take a little bit more off here. It's getting risky though because if I get it too dry, it's going to try picking up the blue when I'm rolling it. But I think I got it. So that's good. The, the, the thinner the coat, of course, the faster it's going to dry. So that'll be good. Okay, that looks perfect. Couldn't get it any better if I did it again. Okay. So now we're going to take their, our butterfly, and it's actually a butterfly. I think it's a Martha Stewart butterfly. came in a set of butterflies. I've mounted it on a, a, a nice uh, clear block so that I can see what I'm doing, and I'm just pressing down, letting it pick up that paint, and then I'm going to stamp it off on another piece of paper over here. And you can see that it's picking up the gold and of course it's picking up the blue that's under it because the blue has been softened by uh, the gold when it was put on there. So I'm going right up the middle so that I can uh, disguise that area that has no vines on it. And I'm stamping off onto a, another piece of paper over here. So that when I stamp off, then it comes off like this. Sometimes you get a better, uh, you know, finished butterfly than you do sometimes. Sometimes this was the first one, second, third. And I kind of I hold it 
tight against the thing and then kind of get, uh, give it a little circular motion and that seems to seat it nicely onto the plate. If you don't do that, then um, sometimes you'll get like your edges won't be crispy. Um, they, they are ending up pretty crispy, I think, here now. Okay, so um, let's see right there, I think. good. And I think one more. Just because it's got enough room for one more, so we'll do one more there. Now I think that this first one did not do very well so I'm going to try to redo it and put it down exactly the same spot. I'm looking at this little part here and this little part here to see if I can put those down exactly the same spot. And that looks pretty good. Ah yes that's much better crispier uh, look to the edge of that. Okay, I, I, on the other one, I put like more butterflies down at the bottom. And eventually, of course, this will be in a book or something like that. I'll take and use my, uh, use my butterflies, excuse me, in a book. And I don't like this little piece right here. It looks like it's flipped up or something. And it looks like an extra piece. So I'll take it out with this. Sometimes I like fix their antenna if the antenna are not good on the butterflies by just using this. I, I'm not pointing down into it, I'm just scraping the paint off. And this one doesn't have his little, um, like his little parts, little part of his wing that goes down. They're not there very much, so we'll just fix them a little better. So we can see them a little better. And this one is a little mush there too, so we'll give him some more, a little more definition there. Okay. So I'm liking what it looks like there. I need to make sure that that's dry before I put the black on it because the black is very um, heavy and it's very hard to... Um, do I have that? Oh, no, it's not messed up. Okay. The black is the Liquitex Basics Black. The gold was the Extreme Sheen, Deco Arts Extreme Sheen Gold, 24 karat gold. They do have other golds like Aztec gold or Venetian gold. Venetian gold, that's what I used the last time. Man, okay. I used, it, it's a little It's a little more coppery than the uh, Extreme Sheen, but I like both of those two colors. Uh, there's another one that's called, here it is, wait a minute, what's it called? Champagne gold, and I'm not as fond of, with that because it looks more like uh, almost silvery. So the, the uh, Venetian gold and the 24 karat gold are both, both good ones, I think. Okay, this basics is, is a little bit um, not very loose paint. It's kind of viscous. It's got a lot of, I mean, it's almost dried inside there, I think. I don't know. But uh, when I put it out on the plate, then sometimes it's, it's really, I have to be careful because if the plate's, not dry enough to accept it, then it will roll up, roll the stuff off of the plate because if the plate is wet and this is drier, then it's going to try to pull, pull it off the plate with this, with this black. Actually, do I have any other black? Should have looked for that before I started my video, shouldn't I? Oh, we'll try it anyway. Okay. I'm going to put it over here in the corner. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I'm almost out of that. I need about, oh, that's that's at least too much. I mean, that's at least enough. It might be too much. Um, just a quarter's worth, but it's usually a quarter's worth, not as thick as that. So what I'm trying to do is make sure I have a layer of the paint between my brayer and the, um, and the plate like with the other ones 
And after you've gotten it rolled out like that, then you can start rolling the other direction. And we'll see how this works. I need to get that corner. That corner has always been a little bit low. On my top left corner, I have a little bit that's I always have to do that specially. I'm going to get that little piece out. A little piece of extra. To make it roll out evenly. I like it evenly. And again, we have a little bit too much black. So we'll roll it off over here on this paper here. And pick up just a little bit more of that. So we have a thinner coat, because if you have a really thick coat, you're not going to be able to pick up all the stuff that's on the plate. And that's what we're trying to go for now, is to pick up everything on the plate, not to leave anything black. But if we don't pick up everything, then the black will give us a look of the uh, broken china, or at least that's what I'm pretending it's called. Okay, so what we have on our plate is that. And you can see those little black areas. Those are where it's picked up stuff from the plate. See that little black there? Okay, let's see if it'll pick up with a piece of paper now. And of course I got black all over my fingers. Let's do that first. Clean my fingers so I'm not putting black on my paper. Come on, piece of paper. Oh, I got two. Get it down there and get it started picking up. And we just want to make sure that we've got it uh, securely down against the plate. So I always try to rub it every different direction. Okay, here's the test. See if it actually worked. And here we have print, which I think looks pretty good except for this butterfly, but I can go ahead and stamp that on there later with a with the with the rubber stamp with some black. And you can see at the edge it didn't pick up quite all of the stuff over here at this edge. Well, I guess there, it had already picked it up. And here, that's interesting, it has taken the black through. The black and the gold are still here, but I still on my print I got uh, some of the, the black showing here. So that's an interesting development there. And what's on my plate is going to look great for my next print. I'm so excited. Let me go put this one away and I'll get to the next one. See if we can get it done by, to, by the end of the video. I didn't have it, it, it didn't do that to the uh, plate before. So that's a good thing. It looks nice. I think I'll just pick that up with the, with the Extreme Sheen Gold and not even worry about whatever else is there because I think it'll just, it'll look great. Okay, gold. Roll it out over here first. May have gotten a little too much on there in my excitement of squirting it out there. I think I did. So we will put some over on the on the waste paper. Just there. Pick up a little bit more of it. There are always happy accidents when you're playing with your gel plate. I tell you, they're can't predict or can't make it do that, but you can get and pick it up after it does it and say, oh, isn't that gorgeous? 
And I do have another piece of paper here because I had two of those. Let me pick that up. And it should be beautiful. I thought I was running out of time, but I'm only 20 minutes, so that's good. You can tell when you're uh, rubbing it like this, if you want to be sure that everything's going to pick up, then if you wait until your paper starts to crinkle a little bit, it <laughs> means that it's uh, pulling away from the plate and you're probably going to get the whole thing picked up. So that's just a hint of how I tell. But I'm not going to wait that long on this. I'm just going to pretend that it's ready now. And here we have, oh, I like that. Look at this. Oh my gosh, that's what I wanted, but could, hadn't even tried to get. I mean, look at that, that's just perfect. It almost looks like an, the uh, illumination that would be in an old book. I love that. Okay, I'm very, very happy. Look at this edge, this edge here is just, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> And it, it's not me doing it. Somebody is looking after me and making it happen, I think. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this, you can subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, you can, you can tell your friends. They might like it better than you did. And uh, subscribe, comment, uh, give it a thumbs up, whatever you like to do. Thank you for watching. Bye now.